talked about all the things, the foolish wars, politics, partisan investigations. So the three, one of the three things I liked that he said was the foolish wars are dividing our country. This crazy politics of uh, partisan politics are dividing our country. And this partisan investigation into Trump is dividing our country. And it's also true. The fact of the matter is the left and the progressives cannot handle the fact that Donald Trump won. They hated it. Nobody saw it coming. A lot of people didn't. And they can't stand it. Well, get over it. He's our president now. He's a little buffoony at times. I'll admit that. Okay? I don't worship him. I don't think he's the savior of the world. But I think he's done some good things. I think he's trying to do some good things. I think, for instance, the wall, trying to put the wall up. I meant I touched on that a second ago. The wall, man, that is a great thing. You try to tell me walls don't work? Okay, well then, maybe we should take the walls down from around prisons. Or maybe you should leave your doors unlocked and we should just take the, you know, uh, you open up your gates and you can invite, you can put a sign out there that says, your property's free to all. Come, come as you will. Come on in, get some food out of the refrigerator if you'd like. We got a spare bedroom back there. Stay there, take a shower, um, do whatever. You know, just sure, come on in. Well, of course, that's... And then people laugh at that analogy. They laugh at it and they say, that's a stupid analogy. That's not even the same thing. No, it's actually exactly the same thing. And it's a very good analogy. If the efficacy, if people's argument is walls don't work, well, then take the walls down around the prisons if they don't work. If the walls don't work around the prisons, take them down. Now, is that the only thing? No, absolutely. We should have the drones. We should have more guard posts. Are people going to dig under? Maybe, maybe in some spots, but it sure as hell going to slow down the flow, the open flow. If you have a, you know, if you had a piece of, you know, um, oh, the other, you know, and this is an analogy. If you had a abscessing wound on your arm and you had a arm that was completely uh, um, gangrene. The gangrene part was we can't take that off right now. It's too big of a problem. If you do, there's some medical reason why you'll die. But we can take care of the abscess in your arm. Would you say, no, I don't want you to take care of the abscess in the arm until you take, you take care of the, 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 you know, my gangrene arm? No, of course. You'd say, all right, well, at least fix this. Does the wall let the most of the people in? No. Overstays on visas. Um, there's, other, there, there's other elements at play that are, that are bigger players of illegal, immig- Im- illegal immigration that are tougher to get a handle on. But the wall is something we can do right now to slow stuff down and stem it. Stem the illegal immigration. So we should take care of it. Just because it's not the biggest problem, it's a problem. And it's a problem that we can handle and take care of. And it will help and it will slow down. And this isn't about brown people. This isn't about um, being racist. We don't want brown people coming in. No, we'd love brown people to come in. Come in legally and, be, and, and become, uh, immerse yourself in, a, in the culture of America where you want to come. Become a functioning pat, tax paying part of our society. And we got no problem with it. But you're called a racist if you say that. You're an immoral racist if you believe that we should have a wall. How does that make any sense in the world? I, I just don't, it, it doesn't to me. Because I don't think it does make sense. I don't think it truly does make sense. Wall, you know, I heard somebody say the wall, Trump just wants a wall because it's a monument to his narcissism. He just wants it for his, he loves building monuments. It's his narcissism. No, it's an actual physical barrier that will help stem the illegal immigration that is contributing to one in three women being raped on the way up here. Uh, smugglers, sex traffickers, a drug epidemic, MS-13, all these things that he says that, that we just throw around is, oh, it's just fear-mongering, you're just fear-mongering, you're just fear-mongering. No, that's truth. Is there, is it been hyped up? Uh, I don't know, maybe a little in some ways. But these caravans that are coming up, that's not hype. That's actually happening. People are coming. So, we need to, and if they knew they couldn't get in just as easily as they have been able to, ha, have been able to, then they wouldn't be coming as much. That's just a fact. Did my light go out? Sorry, guys. I don't know if you shut it off. Did I shut that off? Anyway, I don't know if that helped. 
But uh, so the wall, I, I think that's great, man. I'm, I'm totally in support. Um, you know, there's kind of three points of logic, too, that they say. Like, if you could prove, if you could tell somebody um, that, if you could tell somebody that, hey, if I could prove to you the wall will work, would you listen? There's really only one logical answer to that. There's three answers that people could potentially give. One that's logical. The logical one is yes. If you could prove it, I would believe that it would work. You don't normally get that. You get one of the two other ones when you talk to somebody that says you'd either get, no, I totally reject the wall, period. And that is just simply birthed out of I hate Trump. And if he gets the wall, it's a political win. And if he gets the wall, we know for almost damn sure he's getting reelected. So no, if you could tell me the wall would work, I wouldn't even believe you because I hate Trump. And then I don't even want to consider it, which is just an illogical one. You could just say, hypothetically speaking, if we could say that the wall would work, would you listen to it? Would you let me explain it? And people are like, no, I won't even listen to it because it could never work. Well, that's just illogical. And that's just, that's just being absolutely closed-minded. It's just a completely closed-minded or, or, or stance. Anyway, um, so the wall, I'm, 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 I'm all for Trump on the wall. I think that that's great. I'm all for Trump on wanting to get out of these wars. I think that's great. 